The following is a presentation of Molestar Communications in association with the Global Television Network. Molson Leaf Hockey on the Global Television Network is brought to you by Molson Export. Nothing halfway about it. X says it all. Despite Monday's loss to St. Louis, the Leafs still have a winning record in the past two weeks, and if that represents a turnaround, it began in their last visit to Madison Square Garden as the Leafs unexpectedly exploded for 10 goals. That made it one of the worst nights in the NHL career of Ranger netminder John Van Beesbrook. The Rangers going for first place, the Leafs last in the Norris, but it was the Leafs who won 10 to 6. The next night, however, the Rangers rebounded and beat Pittsburgh and prompted Michel Bergeron to say that the Rangers had not taken the Leafs seriously enough the night before, and perhaps that adds fuel to tonight's fire. The Rangers are first in the Patrick with a chance to go further ahead of Pittsburgh and Washington. The Leafs are five points out of a playoff spot after Minnesota's last minute win at Washington last night. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Hodge at Global Toronto Studios and at Madison Square Garden. The wait is over for Wendell Clark and the anticipation begins. The Leafs could sure use the boost if Wendell Clark can come back and play anything like his former self. The Rangers have something in common with another division leader, Calgary. The Flames haven't beaten the Leafs this season. Neither have the Rangers, a 1-1 tie at Toronto and the 10-6 blowout at Madison Square. For more on tonight's game, let's join Eric Thomas and Scotty Bowman. Thanks, Dave. After missing 116 games, Scotty, Wendell Clark decides to come back. What kind of impact is that going to have on the Maple Leafs, you think? Well, Wendell's style is infectious. We know that. He's not a finesse player. He's an aggressive player. He's got a good wrist shot, and he's a proven goal scorer. Now, and naturally, not having played for 13 months, that's a big uh, you know, handicap for Wendell. But I think what he could do is give this team a lift. They really need a lift after a real solid last half of the game against St. Louis. I maybe would like to have seen him play in Toronto his first game, getting that crowd alive, but he'll give it a good shot. How much he'll play, we really don't know, and how much can the back stand? We're still talking about Guy Lafleur and his hat-trick here Monday against the Kings. Well, Lafleur brings a lot more than the stats that he's brought to this team. I talked to Michel Bergeron before the game, and he said that the job that Lafleur has done for him as a coach with the younger players, fellas like Leach, Patrick, Granado. Now the Rangers are getting a nucleus of players that have come up through their own system, but Lafleur has been a great addition to this club off the ice, as well as performing, I think, well above anybody's expectations. The Leafs and the Rangers from Madison Square Garden. Let's go back to Dave Hodge. Thanks, Eric. In our intermissions, I'll talk to the coach of the New Market Saints, the Leafs American League farm team, Paul Gardner. We'll look back at the month of February, and in the second intermission, NHL Primetime evaluates the trades that have been made thus far in this NHL season. Less than a week to go for more trades. There are six other games in the NHL tonight, and we'll keep you up to date on those throughout this evening. You're watching Molson Leaf Hockey on the Global Television Network.